I thought I was kind of hoping, I mean, this is not the best, but I was kind of hoping somebody on Qatar's team popped and I could fight Giga. That'd be, <laughs> that'd be excellent. But uh, that's, that's what, you know, if the stars align, maybe that could happen. But again, I shouldn't wish ill will and I don't, but I mean, if they pop a test, it's not the end of the world. Have you, uh, have you run across Giga at all this, this fight week? No, not at all. Not yet, anyway. We'll see what happens. It, would it be awkward? He was here earlier. We, we brought your name up. He, he didn't really want to talk about you much. No, he's going to pretend like he doesn't know who I am, and I get it, but uh, he knows. Well, talk about your UFC run so far, man. I mean, you've, you've faced some very difficult competition early on, mixed results, I guess, but what, how have you felt about your UFC run so far? I feel like I haven't lost. I just Some of the fights I haven't won if that makes sense. Like, I, I got to just do more, show more, play the game a little bit more, and not just try to punch people in the face. Sometimes you have to play every aspect of the sport. So that's, that's what I've been working on is just I'm well-rounded, but show it, you know, and, and, and get the W because that's all that matters at the end of the day. Do you think that boils down to, like, being hesitant or overthinking things? Is it, like, being in the UFC? What, what do you think it is? No, it's just, uh, I mean, I don't really have an answer for it. I just got to do better. So that's, that's what I'm working on. Fair enough. Uh, if this matchup does stay together, what, what do you think of Joy Anderson? If, if he's cleared and everything, what, what do you think of him as a fighter? I think he's, you know, aggressive, comes out swinging, well-rounded, that kind of stuff. But, uh, you know, I, I love five foot eight and under. That's kind of my specialty. Um, so my job is just to keep him at range and, and make him pay for when he breaks that range because he will. He'll come in swinging, but I enjoy that too. And technically, you're undefeated in the UFC against anyone not named Ricardo, right? So it's just like you just stay away from anybody named Ricardo, and you're good to go. Yeah, that's that's a great point. Uh, Ricardo Ramos, Ricardo Lamas. If there's a Ricardo Thomas out there, I don't want to fight you. <laughs> or I do. You can just give me that knock, or uh, that fight of the night bonus. But we'll see, we'll see how it goes. That's awesome. Uh, stylistically, this looks like it could be a lot of fun. I mean, do you, could you go out there and, and get a fight of the night and 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 take a loss and be okay with that, or is it no? We we got to get W's. Yeah, I prefer to get that W, but yeah, I mean, I'll also take the fifth fight of the night bonus. Who's going to turn that down? Um, I think, like, yeah, matchup-wise, like, this should be an interesting fight. Knock on whatever this is if it happens. You know. nice. I guess last thing for me, so what's the process from here? I mean, do you just, when you walk away from here, do you start the cut and just think, yes, this is my guy and it's happening, or do you wait? And yeah, I mean, it's business as usual, and then we just wait by the phone and hope for the best. There's nothing I can do. It's out of my hands at this point. It sounds like it's out of Joe Anderson's hands, too, unfortunately. So, but I get it. We got to be be safe in 2022, but it's part of the game. Hey, Bill. Um, so last year was your least active year since going back to 2016. Um, I guess what was because of that? Uh, COVID. Uh, we were supposed to fight in April, and then we postponed into May, and then I actually had a little bit of an injury after that. I wanted to fight. Uh, or I was scheduled to fight Amir Khani, I got offered, and I, I loved that fight. It's just, I had actually hurt my arm moving drywall, of all things, and uh, yeah, I just, I didn't want to go in there compromised, because it's just not a good issue. Did you punch the uh, drywall afterwards? No, no, I was, it was already punched, so I was fixing it, uh, so yeah, turns out it's a lot heavier than I, what I remember, and uh, yeah, just kind of something clicked in my arm, but it was an old injury, and I've rehabbed it since then. We're, we're good to go. So hindsight is twenty twenty, but is it? I mean, maybe a good thing that you let your body heal. I think so. Yeah, let my body heal. Plus, I mean, I'm always training. I'm always working. This is what I do full time. Um, but uh, yeah, of course, I would have liked to gotten a, a few more fights and a few more dubs and, and that kind of thing. But uh, you know, I'll save it for hopefully this weekend. And w what's the backstory with your nickname? Senor Perfecto, mi apodo. Uh, it's one, because I'm perfect, and two, for my love of Spanish women. It's fantastic. Thank you. Love you, honey. Just curious, what is it about Spanish women that excites you so much? What doesn't excite me about <laughs> Spanish women? They have a temper. Yeah, well. Stereotypically. Yeah, but, you know, life gets boring, you know? You need, uh, you need a little, little heat, right? You like spicy food, don't you? Sure. So you like spicy women, yeah. right? This is how you get holes in the walls. <laughs> Potentially. This was at the business, not at the house. So, yes, but no. 